It is often said that not all heroes wear capes. Dressed in the steel toe boots of a dairy farmer and white lab coat of a scientist, Samuel Langteau developed a new tool that promises to improve the health of Canadian dairy cows. Samuel was introduced to his research project by Pierre Lacasse, a researcher at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, and Jin Zhao, a professor at McGill University. As a student researcher and dairy farmer, Samuel acts as a bridge between the laboratory and dairy farm and focuses on investigating innovative solutions for problems encountered by his peers, all while striving to increase milk production and improve milk quality. Cow udder infections are a major concern that keep dairy farmers up at night. Mastitis is the inflammation of mammary tissue resulting from the presence of bacteria acquired from the environment or from other cows during the milking process. This is the most common disease in dairy cows and the main reason antibiotics are needed on dairy farms. Mastitis is also a major source of economic loss in the dairy industry as it results in decreased milk production, losses due to discarded milk deemed unfit for human consumption, decreased yield during milk transformation, increased costs associated with treatment and veterinary visits, as well as mortality or early culling of cows that do not respond well to treatment. Mastitis infections are most likely to develop in dairy cows during the transition phase between milking and the dry-off period. The risk of developing infection decreases when involution, which is the progressive reduction of the mammary gland to its pre-lactation size, is finished. This process is characterized by the reorganization and decrease in size of secretory cells and tissues of the mammary gland as they are replaced by non-secretary tissue. Involution is facilitated by the cells of the immune system that migrate to the mammary gland and digest the tissues. Different factors are associated with an increased risk of infection. For example, when milking is stopped, cows with high milk production will still produce large amounts of milk at the beginning of the dry-off period. This causes an increase in pressure inside the mammary gland that can result in milk leakage, keep the teat end open, or alter the formation of the waxy keratin plug that acts as the first line of defense against dangerous microorganisms. Additionally, there are few immune cells in the udder and those present are diluted in the milk. Therefore, approaches that speed up involution and increase the immune function of the cow during the dry-off period should reduce the risk of developing mastitis. This approach was investigated by Samuel and his collaborators at the Sherbrooke Research and Development Center in Lenoxville. To this end, the team developed a chitosan-based hydrogel. Chitosan is a natural polysaccharide derived from the chitin found in the shell of crustaceans that can be injected directly into the udder and promote the recruitment of immune cells and accelerate involution. By measuring different markers of involution found in milk collected from cows that either received injections of chitosan or a control, in this case water, combined with or without a conventional teat sealant, Samuel observed that chitosan can accelerate the process of involution in the mammary gland while increasing the recruitment of immune cells in the first days of dry-off. In addition, healthy cows can be treated with a combination of a chitosan-based gel and conventional teat sealer to provide both a physical barrier and stimulate the local immune response. This new method should help reduce the use of antibiotics as prophylactics during dry-off and reduce the incidence of intramammary infections in Canadian dairy herds. <laughs>